everybody and welcome back to another Miss Pollard Math YouTube video. Today we're going to be going over some statistics vocab and using that vocab to apply to a practice problem here. These vocab words are not only important for middle school math, high school math, but you'll see it on the SETs, you'll see it on many different state testing, so it's very important that we have a grasp of this material. So for this problem alone, we are given these numbers and we're going to find the mean, the mode, the range, and then put it in a box and whisker diagram. The box and whisker diagram needs our quartiles, our Q1, our Q2, our Q3. So we're really just encompassing every concept for statistics here that we've saw in this middle school math class. So my first step when I'm given these numbers is to put them in from least to greatest because we need that for our medians. We might as well put it from least to greatest so we know which numbers we're working with. So I'm gonna start with 11 because that's my smallest number. I cross it out just so I remember I wrote it down. Then I look, I have 12 here, 12 here, and another 12 here. So I have three 12s. I have to write down each 12. Some of us forget to write every single one down and that causes some problems because those data points are very important when we're doing all our different statistics. So now we have next, our 13, we have two 13s. I have a 14, I have a 16, and I have an 18. So now I put them in order from least to greatest, and we want to find the mean. The mean is when we add up all the numbers and divide them about by the number that we have, the amount that we have. So I'm going to put in my calculator, 11 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 13 plus 13 plus 14 plus 16 plus 18, and I press enter. When I do that, I get 121. Now I have to divide by the amount of numbers I have. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I divide by 9, and my mean is going to be 13.4 repeated. So that's my mean. So check, got this one done. I can check that one off of my list of things to do. Now I want the mode. It's important we know what this vocab word means, though. If I'm saying, oh, we need to find the mode, and you're like, what's the mode? That's going to be challenging, right? So the mode is the number that repeats the most, that's present the most. So if we look, we have two 13s, we have three 12s. Well, there's more 12s, so because there's three of them, our mode is going to be 12. So I'll write that over here. My mode is going to be 12. That's the number that repeats the most. Now we want the range. The range is where I take my smallest number or my least value and I have my greatest value and subtract that. So 18 is my greatest value or my maximum, 11 is my minimum or my least value, and I'm gonna subtract them together. So for my range, I do 18 minus 11, which is seven. So my range is seven. Now that I have all those vocab words down, I wanna do a box and whisker diagram. And one of the main words that I'm missing here is the median. You're like, where's the median? The median we're going to use for a box and whisker. So that's why I waited till this point to do it. So the median is when I cross out and see what's in the middle. So I'm going to cross out the 11. I'm not going to cross it out in full because I need it for my box and whisker to continue. So I like to just put like a dash above it to remember I'm crossing it out. So one on each end. Now the second one in, third one in, fourth one in, and I'm left with 13. So 13 is my median. I'll write that down over here. But that's also my Q2. So I'm gonna write that as my Q2. Something else that's really important to remember is that our Q2 is our median, and that if we have two numbers in the middle here, like let's say it ended up with 12 and 13, I would add the two together, divide it by two. So if it was 12 and 13, I would do 12 plus 13, divided by two, and that would be my Q2 or my median. Now that we have the Q2, I'm going to use the portion below it and portion above it to find those medians. So we're doing the median three times for my box and whisker, but also to find what your different quartiles are. So this is Q2. I might have not said this before, but Q2 means quartile two. So now we need to find quartile one. So I like to box off everything below it. So I'm gonna box off these numbers because they're below my median. And now I'm going to do the median of these lower quartile. So I cross that out, cross that out. I'm left with these two. 
Technically, I'm supposed to do 12 plus 12, divide that by 2. We know that's going to be 12. So my Q1, or my quartile 1, is 12. Now we have our second portion here. Let's do the median again. Cross out, cross out. We're left with 2 in the middle. So I add them up. 14 plus 16, divided by 2, and I get my Q3 as 15. That's also my quartile three. Now, I can talk about the interquartile range, the IQR. That's important to know just in general. My IQR, I can write over here, is my Q3 minus my Q1. So if I do 15 minus 12, my interquartal range is going to be three. That's another question your teacher might ask you, so it's important to know that information. Now that we have all this information, we are going to make our box and whisker diagram. All of this is going to be used to plug in. I'm going to look at all my numbers. I'm going to go by two so it's not that long. So I draw my line here. I'm going to start with 10. Then I'm going to go to 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Our first step is to always put our least value, our minimum, on here, which is 11, which is between these two. So I'm going to put a dot there so I remember that's that. Then we put our Q1. We're going to go in order from left to right. So I do my Q1, which is 12. I'll put a dot here. Our Q1 is always going to be the end of our box, so I'm going to draw a line here. Now, our median, or our Q2, this whole problem is 13. So I'm going to put a dot there as well on 13, and I put a line through it. My Qs, 1, 2, and 3 are going to have lines through it. Then I have my Q3, which is 15. 15 is in between here. I'm going to put my line through it. And then the last but not least, I put my maximum, which is my greatest value, which is 18, and I put a dot there. Now I'm going to create my box and my whiskers. So my box, I just connect these. My whiskers, I just draw the line. We have less whisker on this side than this side. And that's what our box, box and whisker diagram would look like. We would have to know that this is 11. They usually would tell you on a diagram, like label this as 11. This is 11, that's my least, that's my Q1, my Q2, which is also my median, the whole problem, my Q3, and my max or greatest value. So this was a lot, but these are how we use all our statistics vocab to solve this type of problem. When I say all our statistics vocab, I mean the ones we've seen in middle school, our mean, our mode, our range, and I hope this gave you some clarity on how to complete this type of problem.